Hello, I'm Dr. Ruhollah Ibrahimian, and I tutor online at tutorhero.net. I received a gold medal in Iranian National Math Olympiad with a perfect score. Then I went on to receive a silver medal in International Math Olympiad. After that, because of, uh, because of this achieve achievement, I was able to get into Yale and get several scholarships. I tutor online at tutorhero.net uh, and I tutor several subjects in advanced mathematics, especially Math Olympiad and uh, Putnam preparation, AMC preparation, AIME preparation, and several other subjects, uh, uh, advanced, advanced math subjects. Now I'm going to show you how I tutor uh, online. So to do that, I'm going to start with a problem which is a typical uh, math Olympiad uh, problem. So I'm going to do this one in my virtual classroom so that you see how an online class is going to look like. So let uh, P1, P2, P3, so on be a, be the sequence of all prime numbers. And uh, we want to show that they satisfy a certain inequality that I have here. So they satisfy this certain inequality. So this is what I'm going to show. Okay. And the proof is combining a mathematical induction with uh, a technique that was first introduced by Euclid. So let's just start with uh, plugging some numbers. If you, have, if you take n equals 1, what do we get? For n equals 1, you're going to get p1 is less than 2 squared, which is essentially true. You can just plug in numbers because p1 is 2. Uh, you can just see that they satisfy it satisfies this inequality. If you plug in n equals 2, we're going to get p1 times p2 is less than 2 to the 2 squared, which you can check that this is also true. But certainly we can't uh, show this is true for all n just by doing calculations. So we need a uh, powerful method. And that powerful method is mathematical induction. So I'm going to combine this method of math, math com, uh, induction with a method that was used for by Euclid to show there is infinitely many uh, prime numbers and deduce the uh, inequality. So assume that we have this inequality p1 through pn, product of these less than 2 to the to the n. So by math induction, what do I need to show? I need to show the product of the first n plus 1 prime numbers is less than or equal to 2 to the 2 to the n plus 1. Right? This is what I need to show. So this one we need to show. And how do I show this? The way to show it is uh, by using uh, this trick. So let's take q Let's take Q to be uh, the product of P1 through Pn minus 1. Okay. Certainly, if P is at least at least 2, then uh, Q is at least. So, what is this quantity here? This quantity is the product of the first n primes minus 1. So, if you have at least two primes, so what do we get here? We get at least 2 times 3 minus 1. So let's go to the next page. So what do we get? We got Q is at least 5. Okay. Now you have a number which is at least 5. So what does it show? It shows that it has, it certainly has some prime factor. So there is some prime P such that P uh, is prime, as I said, and it also divides Q. And what was Q? Remember, Q was the product of P1 through Pn minus 1. So it was the product of P1 through Pn, and we subtracted 1 from this product. Okay. So I claim that this P is not is none of these uh, PIs. Claim is that this P is not equal to P1 
or P2 or Pn is none of this. Why is it true? The reason is that since we have this, uh, this condition, since we have that P divides Q, I know that Q is a multiple of P. So let's write it down. So we know that Q is a multiple of P. So what do we get? We get Q, which is P1 through Pn minus 1 equals MP. Therefore, we get P1 through Pn minus MP equals 1. So therefore, P1 is none of the P1 through Pn because otherwise, 1 would be divisible by P, which is uh, false. So P1 is none of these. So what does it show? We listed all prime numbers, and P is a, one of these prime numbers. It just shows that P is at least n plus first prime. So P is at least n plus first prime. So this is what we showed. We also had, by uh, what I showed in the previous uh, whiteboard, we also had P divides Q, which is the product of P1 through Pn minus 1. And what does it show? So Q is at least P. So P1 through Pn minus 1 is at least P, which is at least Pn plus 1. So this is what I, what I show. And by uh, hypothesis, uh, by mathematical induction hypothesis, this guy, the product of n first n primes, is less than this guy, 2 to the 2 to the nth. We know that. If you combine these two, combining these two, we get p sub n plus 1 is at most 2 to the 2 to the nth minus 1, which is less than 2 to the 2 to the nth. Now I'm going to combine this inequality with, again, the hypothesis, this inequality. I'm going to combine this one with this and this one with this to conclude the, uh, uh, the to conclude the inequality that I'm looking for. So what I got was that P1 through Pn is less than 2 to the 2 to the n, and I also showed that P sub n minus n plus 1 is less than 2 to the uh, 2 to the 2 to the n. This is also what I showed. If you combine these two, what do I get? I get P1 through Pn plus 1 is less than 2 to the 2 to the n times 2 to the 2 to the n, which is 2 to the 2 to the n plus 1. And this completes the proof. So this example just uh, showed how I'm working on problems uh, on my in my virtual uh, classroom. So again, you can find me at tutorhero.net.